I recently had a request to put together a torque wrench calibration kit, so I thought I'd show you what I came up with. The key instrument required for torque wrench calibration is a digital torque converter. And uh, this particular unit which I selected is made by Tone, which is a uh, Japanese manufacturer. Uh, it's 3 8 drive and it can measure from 10 to 135 newton meters. And if I switch it on, you just press the power button for a couple of seconds. And uh, one handy feature is it powers up in the mode you uh, last used. So in this case I'm, I'm uh, using peak uh, torque measurement which is handy for uh, torque wrench calibration. But you can also set it to a uh, tracking mode. Uh, which you can see indicated with this sign and I'll switch it back to peak mode So you just press clear and the volume down to uh, switch between modes. Uh, you can also uh, set target torques um, If you wanted to use this on its own uh, without a torque wrench to uh, torque bolts, but uh, for the uh, torque wrench calibration uh, just set it to peak mode the torque converter comes with a uh, detailed instruction sheet which is in Japanese and English. Uh, this side you can see is all in English and it describes all the uh, different modes and how to set them. A calibration certificate is also included. And I've zoomed in on the, this area of the certificate and you can see the actual recorded uh, test data. And uh, both clockwise and counterclockwise measurements were made for 10, 81, and 135 newton meters. And you can uh, calculate the error, and it comes out to less than uh, 1%. And this particular unit is specified for plus minus 3%, so it's well within the uh, specified tolerance. When you're performing a torque wrench calibration, you need to hold the torque converter steady. Um, so I made this little te test fixture which has a 3 8 drive here and I welded it to uh, some steel tube. Okay so you can see I've mounted the 3 8 test fixture in the vise and I've got the torque converter uh, mounted in that and I've set my uh, torque wrench for this test uh, to 20 newton meters so I'll switch on the torque converter and confirm it's in the peak torque reading setting and then apply torque slowly and steadily. And that was 19.6. 19.5. So you can see it's reading slightly low. So I'm going to adjust my uh, torque wrench just a bit and retest. and that's 20.1 20, 20 so that's pretty close now um, so you can see uh, how to use it very easy to use and uh, from the uh, calibration sheet you can see it's very accurate as well less than 1% error one other handy feature is the power automatically powers off after 90 seconds of uh, not using it so you don't have to worry about the uh, battery draining uh, if you leave it switched on